families plea tonight to pay close attention to weather conditions this time of year after their 21 year old son lost his life nearly three years ago at Tanker Verde Falls. New at 10, the family is now urging people to consider the dangers before heading out to the popular summer spot. Here's Nine in Your Sides, Natalie Terranjoli. Tanka Verde Falls, while beautiful, can be dangerous after monsoon storms. Jennifer and Michael Miller know this because here is where they lost their son, Hunter, three years ago this week. He was invincible. And that's what happens with these kids when they come down here. They're not thinking about they could really get injured. On August 11th, Hunter and a group of friends went to Tanka Verde Falls to jump off high rocks into the deep pools. The 21-year-old had done this before, but earlier storms brought the water flow to an unsafe level to swim in. It crept up on him, and the water started coming faster and faster and faster, and before they knew it, it was on them, and Hunter made the fatal jump. The Millers lost their only child that day. Their heartbreak propelling their movement on education and prevention, creating Hunter's Patrol, a website that honors their son and the other 32 people who have lost their lives at Tanka Verde Falls. At the site, the Millers want warning signs to show the number of people killed at the spot and signal high water levels. Have a siren that goes off um, or somehow a red light flashing or something. To, to, to warn the people that it's dangerous. During monsoon, they stress that visitors should know parts of the falls are very steep. And if it's rained, the water levels could be dangerously high. On the anniversary of Hunter's death, August 11th, the Millers will honor Hunter the same way they always do. What we usually do is we come down here and throw sunflowers into the, into the, uh, the stream. And because uh, he loves sunflowers and we do too. So we let them drift off in the, in, the, in the stream. A tragic end to their son's life, who was found about five miles downstream. Natalie Tarangoli, KGUN 9, on your side.